Hi everybody, welcome to Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Um, as you can see, this is a very special episode. October 1st is Chuseok in Korea, and we are going to learn all about that in a few moments. Uh, this, first, this episode uh, is geared towards first graders, second graders, and third graders. Uh, it's about like an early intermediate uh, level. However, you can be any age to enjoy and participate in this lesson. Before I start with the art lesson, let's take a look at some wonderful student art that was sent in to me. Thank you so much for sending in your artwork to me. I love seeing what you do. And just as a reminder, I keep my email on the bottom corner of the computer screen down there so that you know how to get a hold of me. So keep sending in your art. Um, as I said earlier, October 1st is Chuseok in Korea. We have a very special message from Dr. Song, who is the principal at Jefferson Elementary School. Let's see what she has to say. 여러분 안녕하세요. Jefferson 초등학교 교장 Dr. Song입니다. Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Song, principal of Jefferson Elementary School. I am a huge fan of Simple Art at Home with Mrs. Houston. And today I'm going to be sharing a little bit about a very special Korean holiday called Chuseok. Today is a special day in Korea called Chuseok, or also known as Hangawi. It is an important traditional Korean holiday that is typically celebrated for three days. Some people call it Korean Thanksgiving. Just like we get a few days off for Thanksgiving, so it also happens for Chuseok in Korea. This year, Chuseok falls on Thursday, October 1st. However, Chuseok is always August 15th by the lunar calendar, when the moon is said to be the biggest and brightest. Chuseok is a mid-autumn harvest festival when traditionally families go to the mountains to tidy up their ancestors' graves or set up a traditional Korean table of food and bowing to their ancestors. Korea is a mountainous country, so many ancestors are buried in the mountains. After paying respects to their ancestors, they will enjoy a grand meal together using new crops. One very important essential food is called songpyeon a steamed rice cake filled with either beans or sesame seeds mixed with honey. It is in the shape of a half moon. Another typical food is called jeon, which is like a Korean savory pancake. In some countryside villages, you may see women dancing in a circle wearing hanboks, the Korean traditional clothing under the moonlight. Happy Chuseok! 즐거운 추석 보내세요! Wow, thank you so much, Dr. Song, for teaching me something new. I did not know about Chuseok, and I do love learning about uh, different holidays and how people celebrate uh, different holidays um, throughout the world and here within the U.S., so thank you so much. For today's art lesson, it will be about an art contest, the 2021 Korean American Day Art Contest. And there is a link in the description of this video that'll take you to the website. You'll have to have your parents help you. And the lesson that we do today, um, you can submit it to the contest. And um, hopefully one of our students will win because uh, the, the community hosting the contest creates a calendar and they fill each month of the calendar with a different student's artwork. So doesn't that sound fun? 
Um, before we start in the lesson, uh, we are going to be painting azaleas today. And azaleas are flowers, and not just regular flowers, they are beloved flowers um, in Korea. So I made a very quick video for you to watch so you can learn a little bit more about azaleas and Korea. Let's take a look. You will have the opportunity to submit your artwork from today's lesson to the Korean American Day Art Contest. I will tell you more about this in a few moments. Today we will be painting azalea flowers. The azalea flower is one of Korea's favorite flowers. Azaleas are wildflowers that are known for their endurance and long lifespan. Kim Sowal is a beloved Korean poet, and he wrote a very famous poem called The Azaleas. The poem touches on several feelings, including love and sadness. The azaleas may be a metaphor for resilience during hardship. This is how you write the word azaleas in Korean Hangul lettering. I will teach you how to do this during today's art lesson. If you would like to enter the Korean American Day Art Contest, then you will need to follow the directions that you see here. Ask a parent to help you. The website is linked in the description of this video. Your artwork will need to be mailed to the Korean Education Center in Los Angeles. Everyone is invited to participate in the art contest. The due date is Tuesday, October 13th. Let's do some art. So I really do hope that you enter the art contest. And um, for today's art lesson, you are going to need paper and a pencil to sketch with, something to color with or paint with. I'm going to be using watercolors today. You'll want something to outline with in black, either a black pen or a black colored pencil. Uh, those are my suggestions to you. So let's go ahead and move over to the table. Okay, so I'm going to be using watercolors. First, I will sketch with a pencil and I'm going to sketch out an azalea flower. And if you can't see my pencil line very well, um, I'll try to press somewhat hard, but I will also go over it with a black pen so you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So our azalea flower uh, will have five petals and I wanna make it up here in this part because down here we are going to write azalea in Hangul uh, lettering in Korean down here. So save room at the bottom of your paper. So up here, I'm gonna start with sketching a petal and it's going to go somewhat like this. And the tip has like a little dip at the top and then it gets wider. So there's one petal. And then let's have another petal coming off to the side this way, kind of going this direction. And you know, I'm just allowing my hand to create a little bit wavy lines, it's okay. Oops, I wanna bring that in there a little bit. Have, a pen, have an eraser handy in case you wanna erase any of your pencil marks. It's okay to do so. And then I'll have another petal that comes down in this direction. It kind of has an end like this on it. And then I'm going to overlap this one with my fourth petal going this way, going in, and then one more petal. So it's almost like a star, if you can see that. I'll have one more petal going off in this direction. It's kind of has a little interesting curve at the tip. Okay, so then in the center, we are going to draw some lines like this, and we'll put some circles at the top, and they can be different lengths, and they don't, it doesn't matter how many, you can have them go any direction that you want. And I think we will add a stem. We have some room for a stem, which is going to be something like this. And then why don't we add some leaves? If you want to, you can. If it's too much for you, 
you don't have to. I'm going to show a leaf going behind this petal. So if it were going behind here, it would come out somewhere over here. And then again, would end up right there. And we can put a little line going through the center of that leaf. Let's do another leaf right here. Kind of suggests a leaf going behind that petal and we won't see the rest of it because the petal is blocking it. We can also show a petal, I'm sorry, a leaf how about coming out up here? Maybe it's coming out this way. And then how about for interest and balance? Let's have one more leaf up here. And I'm just drawing simple leaf shapes and then a smaller leaf coming off of it, maybe sideways like that. Okay, and I will add a little more detail with my pen in a moment. I'm going to take an ultra fine point sharpie and just outline this. I'm going over my pencil. You can start anywhere you want. And remember, I am only making a suggestion um, to you of what you might want to turn in for the art contest. You can do anything that you want. I just knew I wanted to do something with flowers and I asked my co-worker and my friend uh, Mrs. Joy Park, she is our Korean translator at the district office, and I asked her what flower do you recommend because she knew and knows more obviously about Korea than I do and she recommended azaleas and she is the one who also taught me how to write the word azalea in Hangul Korean lettering Korean alphabet and I will show you that in a few minutes once we finish drawing the, the azalea flower Okay, and then I'm going to draw the stem and we'll just kind of cap it off like that at the bottom and then let's draw this leaf. There's no wrong way to draw the leaves. There's something, they look something like this. And I'm also very glad that Dr. Song taught me about Chusok. Chusok. It seems like a very beautiful time of year and a very beautiful celebration. Okay, and then one more leaf right here. This leaf will be kind of sideways in my mind. It's curving up. Okay, and then I'm also going to create some interesting dots on the flower petals. So I'm going to just do some interesting dots like this. Again, I'm just offering suggestions. You do not have to do this. You see how the flower looks a little bit like a star? Sometimes it's hard to draw five petals and get them to end up all evenly. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna add a few um, lines here too that make it look like, just maybe it makes it look like some of the petals are curving a little bit to add interest. Okay, and then down here at the bottom is where I will write uh, azalea. So leave room for three sections, okay? So for three sections of lettering. So, and, and 
you'll need about you know this much room because some of the letters stack on top of the other letters and I'll, I'll show you so we have this we're writing azalea And remember, you can pause this video and go back and watch parts again. Even though I'm live streaming, I will still be here if you pause. There, this is the last letter. And the Korean alphabet, this is Hangul alphabet. All right, so now I'm ready to start painting. Uh, I'm going to use a mixture of Crayola paints, and then these colors here are very bright. They're Dr. Martin's brand. I'm using Fuchsia and Sunshine Yellow. I'm just going to start fresh in a new section here. And this, is, this has like a medicine dropper. Oops, I got some on my fingers with paint. That's okay, that's why I have, art can be messy, that's why I have this. This is a piece of wood that I'm working on, and the piece of wood is on top of one of my nice tables, and I do that on purpose. Look at all that paint. Ah, that's the, kind of the fun part of art. Um, I like to protect my tabletops on purpose, so it looks like I'm just going to have some stained fingers for a while, but then that's okay. Let me try to get this off so it doesn't smear on my paper. But as you can see, this is a, you know, just a piece of wood from the garage that I put down to protect my table. You might want to do something like that too. And then I'm going to add, looks like my yellow is still liquidy, so I'm not going to add any more. But okay, so I'm going to start with uh, the little dots in the center, and I'm actually going to use the black from my Crayola to just add some dots. I could have done these with the black Sharpie, but I think the watercolor will make an interesting... Uh, it, it's not as solid black, and it makes more of an interesting um, texture and look. It's more transparent. Then I'm just going to add a few, I don't know if these are going to show up. I might have to go back over it again and add more yellow once this all dries, but I'll try to work around this, but not quite sure if this will work. Every time I do a project, sometimes I, I change it up a little bit and do things differently, which is normal because I think it makes it more fun that way to experiment and make the project a little different each time. Okay, so I'm going to, why don't I just start with the green stem and the leaves. And again, um, for your project, you can do whatever you want. Maybe you have a better idea. If you saw the theme, the theme was the charm of Korea. And if you have a better idea or just a different idea, that's completely fine. You can do whatever you want. I'm just here to offer some suggestions and maybe spark an idea for you. Azaleas can be pink, like I said, the fuchsia color. Uh, they can be purple. You know, if you're really interested in this, you can Google azalea flowers and look at all the different colors that they come in because you might not have this pink color. I didn't have the correct pink color. I tried mixing pink and you can with the Crayola colors, you can mix red with white in a separate dish like this and add water and you can get a pink. And um, I'll show you, I actually did that over here, it's a much softer pink, but and I mixed purple in the middle, but I'm gonna show you today a real bright uh, type of pink. Okay, 
Now, let's try this real bright pink color. I'm gonna add a little water to it. And you know, maybe this is something that you wanna just do for fun. Maybe you're not even entering the contest and that's, that's completely okay. You know, art is a great way for you to relax and it's a great hobby. So if this is something that you don't feel comfortable or you, you know, if you choose not to enter the art contest, you don't have to because you can still participate and enjoy this, this um, project. Okay, see how bright this is? And, you know, later when it dries, I might go back in and add a little bit of purple. And I'm just following my lines here. I'm not quite sure. Looks like I'm smearing all my yellow, but that's okay too, because again, it's going to be a beautiful look. And I think watercolors are meant to blend in together. And I think it, it's, it's a beautiful look even when they somewhat run together. I could go back in, you know, once this dries and add more yellow and watercolors dry fairly quickly. See how bright this is? So beautiful. The Dr. Martens, the one that I spilled when I was opening, it normally does not happen, but I got those at um, Hobby Lobby. I'm not, I haven't, I know Michael's is another popular art supply store. I haven't looked to see if they sell them there, but you know, they range from between three and six dollars per jar. But if you're doing a special project and you want really, you know, vibrant, you know, beautifully deep colors, you may start investing. If, if you're somebody who's going to start collecting art supplies and you really enjoy doing art, like especially on the weekends when you're not busy doing, you know, as much homework, it's a good time um, to do art. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of go over that yellow. And I think it's still an interesting look right there in the center. You still get the idea that there's some yellow in there. And again, I, I know I said this earlier, but I did really enjoy learning about Chusok from Dr. Song. I think it's really important that we all um, take the time to learn about different traditions and different holidays that people celebrate throughout the United States and all over the world. It, I think it fosters a respect for each other when you, when you learn more about each other. So thank you, Dr. Song, for teaching me something new. Okay, wow, that is very bright and beautiful. I'm gonna try a different technique right now and I'm going to take, I'm gonna go back to my round brush and I'm just going to fill, I'm just putting water right here. This is just water. And I'm gonna take a blue and just kind of, you know, give a subtle hint of blue on the corners. I'm just gonna kind of fade it out and round it here. And I think it will make the pink really stand out. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of round this out and you'll see it'll, it'll kind of tie in the whole composition and it's very subtle, it's not very strong. And you know, even with watercolors, it dries even lighter. Like once it dries, it'll be even lighter. And I'm even gonna take this down here around my letters. I was lucky enough to visit the kindergarten Korean class last year at Jefferson and I 
taught an art lesson on Hangul Day. And so that's how I learned all about the Hangul alphabet. There we go. See that just that very subtle hint of blue there? I'm just going to take it around over here as well. I'm going to blend this with some water. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to blend it a little bit more. I'm almost finished. I have another show coming on at 420 and it's geared towards fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. It's a little bit more advanced than what I just did. But remember, you, the grade level doesn't matter. You can still participate in any of these episodes and send me work from any of these episodes. So there we go. There is my azalea flower and uh, my Hangul lettering there at the bottom. And um, I think I will meet you back up at the easel. Okay, it's still very, very wet. I hope it doesn't, the paint doesn't drip. But um, here we go. This is my azalea flower. Happy Chusok. I hope you learned something new today. And um, why don't we close out with looking at student art one more time. Send me pictures of your work, please. Thank you. Bye.